President Obama's State of the Union address and the Republican response from Iowa Senator Joni Ernst wrapped up just moments ago. Among the main themes of his speech, increasing taxes on the wealthy, making community college free for many students, and expanding paid leave for workers. The State of the Union, coupled with the opposition party rebuttal, is a practice that dates back to the 1960s. But Fox 28 News reporter Kevin Barry explains why the way in which proposed legislation was introduced this year broke tradition. I can remember growing up when you know, the president said that I want time, then pretty much the universe was cleared and the president spoke. But now there are plenty of other media options on TV and off that draw attention away from the State of the Union and the ideas in it. So President Obama took to social media, laying out his plans for his speech with videos on Facebook, reaching a population he might otherwise not. It started with talking about Cedar Falls. Now, Cedar Falls isn't a really big place. You only got 40,000 people in, in Cedar Falls. That laid the way for a visit. Your network is as fast as some of the best networks in the world. There's Hong Kong, Tokyo, Paris, Cedar Falls. Right? Which all led to a line in tonight's speech. I intend to protect a free and open internet, extend its reach to every classroom and every community, and help folks build the fastest networks. Scroll up and down the White House Facebook page and Twitter feed, and you see the same treatment for other issues, too. Tim Hagel at the University of Iowa says with all that competition for audiences, it's probably the best way to get the message out. It's a trade-off between saying, well, look, if we give this speech and it's that one speech and everybody needs to watch it, but everybody's not going to watch it.